Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Advanced Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. Currently, we are working on a few complicated geometries. The idea is if we can create a few complicated geometries, then we learn about the tools which are necessary to build those geometries. And if we learn about those tools, then it will be easier to create any kind of geometry in ComSol. So my target is to teach you about all the tools available in ComSol. Today we'll be creating this kind of geometry. This is nothing but an impeller, an impeller of a centrifugal pump. What a centrifugal pump is? In a centrifugal pump, we have an impeller. That impeller rotates with a high speed and it creates a centrifugal force. That centrifugal force generates energy to the water or fluid and that energy is utilized to transport fluid from one place to another place. This impeller basically housed inside a casing and it rotates with a high speed. How it rotates? It, this impeller will be connected with a shaft and that shaft is connected with a motor and that motor rotates the sh shaft and that's why this impeller also rotates. So, I'll talk about the centrifugal pump in a separate video, but let me show you an image because this image will be necessary. This is a part of the blade and uh, this blade has certain specifications. Those are blade angle, say beta, alpha, inlet blade, uh, inside blade angle, outside blade angles. Those things we have actually read in our chemical or mechanical engineering. And if you have read it, just try to recapitulate it, just try to imagine it, what you have read or you just look at the portion where you have read it and that will be helpful to understand this particular part. So before we start today's technical discussion, I would like to make an announcement that we have started a service where we assist you to develop your research problem. If you want to avail this service, write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I'll set up a few video call and I'll help you to develop your model. Many people have already taken this particular service and they are, they are very much helpful for that. If you want to avail, write to me quickly. And now I try to create the geometry. So what I do, I started doing it. Let me delete it so that I can make it again and you can actually visualize the thing. So now let me start it from the very beginning. I click on geometry, take a work plane. The concept of work plane I have talked about many times. So in a work plane, we create a particular drawing on a 2D plane and then extrude it in the normal direction so that we create a 3D geometry. So initially we take a circle. The radius of the circle is D out by 2. D out has been taken in the parameters. I'll show you. So those are the parameters which are required to build this particular geometry and all are related to centrifugal pump. So this, uh, a few examples are beta in, that is a blade angle in, beta out is a blade angle out. Similarly, you have alpha in, alpha out for the inside blade angle. You have blade thickness, you have uh, other parameters which are necessary to build the centrifugal pump. So the idea is today we work on the impeller. Next day we may work on the volute and shaft. And then we will combine all the parts to generate the entire centrifugal pump. So we have just taken the circle. Now the idea is we will create the impeller blade inside the circle. And for that what we do we right click on plane geometry and take parametric curve. How parametric curves work I have already talked about it in the two videos which I added previously. Again, I'll put those two videos in the description box so that you can have a look and that will help you to understand this particular video. Now, in a param parametric curve, briefly, we have uh, an equation for the parametric form 
and that equation we have to put and we have to give the range of the angles and that will create a curve. So I have already noted down this particular angles and the equations. So I will just copy it here. So this is very much complicated. So very difficult to memorize and that is why I have noted all the things beforehand and I am just pasting it here. Now I have to paste the parametric form. So in the parametric form, those are the equations so I put the first part then I have to put the second part so those equations are available online I may give the link in the description box so that you can read about those equation and you can understand those equation and let me put the position also so in the for the position that also I have copied here so yeah this is the position and everything is function of something which are given in the parameter box so you can just pause the video and have a look so I have actually copied all the things now I cl click on bell selected so one curve is created this is basically the upper curve of the impeller blade so say this is the upper curve it will also have a lower curve so for that again we have to take a parametric curve and again the parameters I have actually taken so let me just copy those parameters and put it here quickly so I will give those parameters in the link so that you can copy it from here you don't have to type it so I'll put those files in a Google Drive and I'll share it with you or this is available in Comsol also. I'll give the link in the description box so that you can download those equations while you practice this. So this is the first part of the parametric form. Now I choose the second part. This is the second part. So after you are complete with this part, we have to put the position, the position also I have taken I guess, yeah this is the position for the down curve or the lower curve. So now I click on build selected, so you see the lower curve is also created. So let me write it lower curve. So now what I can do is you can see there is no connection between the upper and lower curve and for that what I can do is I can take a line segment and I can actually join these two lines. So this is the initial line and the initial vertex this is the final vertex. If I click on build selected this will be joined and then what I need to do is I need to make a fillet here so let me just do it uh, before I do the filleting let me join these parts that means the upper curve lower curve and the line segment and for that you can make an operation boolean operation union so let me join this three so the upper uh, lower curve and this line segment so I click on build selected it will create this one now what I can do is I can make a fillet because this filleting will this has a sharp edge so if I do this filleting it will create a smooth edge the filleting radius also taken here yeah this is the filleting radius so here we, I put it now uh, you can see the filleting is done. I'll just zoom here. Yeah, so nice fillet we have created. Now our task is to make a solid from this sketch. 
so far this is a sketch i right click on it click on conversions and convert to solid so this part we can actually convert to solid and if i click on build selected uh, something went wrong let me check let me check so this one okay the outer one is not selected so now if i do then it will be done yeah so you can see we have converted into a solid now what i can do is i can just remove the outer portion so that we create this particular shape that means the blade because the circle is not a part of the blade only this part is the blade and that's why we have to make a delete operation and that will create the so let me click on plane geometry there will be some delete option delete entities so not this one we have to delete this domain so yeah here is one option delete this we have to make domain and we yeah, see we have chosen the outer portion so that we uh, we actually make the blade intact the other part we want to delete so if you see the blue zone we are just removing this so that we get the blade now click here yeah so this is the blade which we have actually created now this blade is in 2d what now we can do is we can make an extrusion so that we create a 3d blade so now on the work plane we create extrude the height of extrude is also taken here i guess uh, yeah this is the blade extrusion blade height so i put it here and click build selected so you can see a nice blade has been created so this is the part where we have just created one blade and there are multiple blades in the impeller and for that what i need to do i have already talked about it in the previous videos so we can make a rotate operation right click on plane geometry and we can make a transformation rotate so we can make a replica of multiple I mean multiple replica of this so we have to define the angles so the angles also we have taken here so the here nb is the number of blades so based on the number of blades we can actually create this rotate operation so you can see it will make a blade in every 360 by nb so it depends on the number of blades if, if you have more number of blades then the angle will be less and this is how this equation is created so i click here so you can see it has made a nice three-dimensional blade now if you go to extrude build all object you can see this nice blade I mean impeller is created so we have made the impeller now we can make the outside circle because this impeller will be sitting on a circle and that's why we create a circle uh, we go to here we create another circle in the plane geometry we try to take a circle and say the circle radius is d out by 2 so now you can see this is the circle 
and we can take another extrusion for the circle say another extrusion for the circle yeah you can visualize say some very less thickness say 0.2 No, some error is there. What is the error? Okay, input ob object is not given. So the input object will be your this circle, the circle 2, C2. So the input object is circle 2. So let me do one thing, let me create this circle 2 in another work plane, it will give us more flexibility. So we are done and also this extrude 2. So what we are doing, we are actually making this impeller a different part, that means this is the impeller, let me create build all, yeah. This impeller is different work plane and we'll take the circle in a different work plane so what i do right click on geometry click, uh, take another work plane in this work plane let me take the circle so it gives me more flexibility and that's why we are doing it so d out by 2 this is the radius of the circle I, yeah now this is nice and we have to extrude this particular one so again in the work plane 2 I click on extrude and the rate you can see now this is being shown and you can choose any extrusion dimension say 0 0.2 0 0.2 is very much because you see it's more than what is the thickness of the impeller so it may be say very small one 0 0.002 for the time being yeah you can see a thickness on yeah now the blades are sitting on this circle or the disc so we have created the impeller so this is how you can actually create the impeller you can increase the number of impeller also if you change the NB then number of impellers will be changing and you will be having more impellers so we are more or less done with the impeller now what we need to do we need to make a shaft here how the shaft will be connected that provision also you have to make once those things are made then we have to put this particular impeller inside of casein that casein is called volute and once you put that then you are almost done with the pump and you can actually do use this particular geometry to create pump simulation so we'll make this geometry then we'll try to make a simulation on the pump we'll try to rotate it for the rotation again we may need moving mesh so we'll be talking about all those things so this particular file is already given in COMSOL but the purpose of explaining it to you is if you are watching this video suddenly then you may not be may not aware of many options which I am explaining so if you look at this video if you watch this video then it will be very easier to comprehend that you cannot understand by looking at the COMSOL file and that is why we are creating videos for you so meanwhile i upload the other video upcoming videos i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel that will give us more motivation to upload videos thank you